Um, I am very excited and to be honest, uh, very uh, stressed uh, to be in front of you uh, tonight, especially after hearing all your amazing uh, workshop and inspiring stories. Uh, so tonight I'm going to be short, I'm trying to talk about light subject uh, and I will talk to you about cheese. So I hope uh, it reminds you how hungry you are. Um, so I'll talk to you about cheese, I will talk to you about baguette, about wine, about making the revolution and tearing down monarchy, of course. In one world I will talk to you about uh, France. <laughs> Without any cliché, of course. Um, so more precisely what I want to talk about is give you a brief overview of the national LARP um, community about what uh, is the French state of the LARP uh, actually, what in my opinion, and then finish with a personal experience of what, how I try to combine a state of the LARP and a LARP in my uh, LARP experience. Of course, all uh, that I'm going to say here is like mostly my personal opinion and some other like people I, we uh, made a survey uh, on once or a survey. So uh, please don't believe all everything <laughs> I'm going to talk about. Uh, so let's talk about France. France, uh, for now, uh, LARP in France is still uh, seen as an outsider uh, activity most of the time. It's still a bit marginalized, like government really don't uh, know what it is, don't really, uh, and don't fund it at all. Um, it's mainly based on a really strong network of uh, non-profit association. And there is uh, also a national federation that's trying to uh, <laughs> I see French people laughing. Um, so there is a national federation which aim is to uh, try to organize all this uh, powerful uh, association and try to help them and give them clue. But actually, uh, they are really struggling to do so because of uh, organizational problems, because of funding problems. And um, the funny thing is like they are actually uh, in their annual convention right now, like this weekend. Uh, and I had it on the phone uh, yesterday and they send you all kisses. Um, so w what I just wanted to say here is like I, I tried to pick all uh, everything we said during this, uh, this uh, convention to just bring, that, uh, bring it to, the, to them and try to help them. But if you personally want to uh, help them share experiences with them or even go in France, uh, see Paris and uh, make a little uh, conference to, to help them, uh, please feel free to contact them or to contact me and then we'll do amazing thing together. But what about social utility? So, um, once again, it's, it's, it's my uh, view, and uh, we did a survey about uh, with the, in our community to see what uh, our uh, LARP community think about uh, like uh, social, uh, serious um, uh, LARPs, about what uh, uh, does a LARP is useful for uh, pedagogy or things like that. And the thing is, like as we all agreed uh, in this um, in this convention, like LARP is a powerful tool. Uh, to teach things, to uh, learn things, to be, uh, to feel how it is to be in other people's shoes. Uh, it's not useful for everything, but it's really underestimated and has to uh, go to its strongest uh, power. But on the other hand, what the, the French LARPer expects from their experience in LARP, what most of the French LARPer expect, is fun and entertainment. And if they have to choose between uh, like a serious LARP where they will experience like uh, hard stuff and a fun and entertaining LARP where they want just to meet friends and like yeah uh, escape from reality they will cho choose uh, the second one um, and uh, so there, there are of course uh, serious LARP it, and so yes serious LARP and stars LARP about social utility are of course not as uh, um, popular as in Nordic country for instance uh, there are some, but it's mostly reserved for our uh, LARPers that are really experienced and really uh, like, yeah, hardcore LARPers uh, that are really into this subject, or people that come from outside of the LARPer community and uh, are interested about that, but there are not very uh, many of them. Uh, so, with all the, the, the workshop we had, uh, I bring some uh, good ideas to bring this uh, social utility and state of the LARP in France and try to, to do things with people that are already doing this. Uh, and I, uh, personally, with uh, Leopold and the association we created, try, um, even if it's not popular, try to bring some responsibility in, uh, in LARPs and try to combine fun, entertainment and uh, social utility. Uh, so we organize one LARP a year. It's mostly basic, oh basic, no, classic LARPs. 
uh, which are uh, medieval fantastic LARPs uh, with the 400 players, uh, where people come to just uh, kill dragons and uh, do magics and <laughs> do, do things, which is really cool, by the way. Uh, but we tried inside this uh, fun and entertaining um, uh, atmosphere to bring responsibility both in-game and off-game with uh, logistic issues and uh, in-game uh, issues, for example, yeah, racism, gender equality. Uh, some work, some other didn't work, but one of the greatest examples that we really uh, achieved to do was uh, vegetarian food. Uh, vegetarian food is really a topic uh, in France, you don't have to talk about it. Uh, it's really not popular, and especially in our audience, in the, the, the LARPers who welcome in our events, uh, it's really hard to make them eat uh, other things that, uh, than meat. Um, they are or uh, really they don't like it or they are really really critics uh, on this. So the first lap we organized, we said like two weeks before the event. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, the <laughs> the food will be vegetarian, and we had like oh, hundreds of critics like what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna come to your events. Uh, it's inoffensive. I will die. I will never have the force. <laughs> And uh, so it was a bit hard. We said, okay, maybe we bring some meat, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. So uh, and and finally, after the first lap, like they said, Mah, it's not that bad after all. <laughs> and we we, we we chose a very good cook, and uh, we also justified the vegetarian food within the game. So it was like. Nah. It, it was better for them. But the, 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 the really funny thing, so after the first event, they say, okay, vegetarian food is not that bad. But the funny thing is that even after event, they were even recommended the LARP because of the food and because of the vegetarian food. <laughs> and I was so pleased when, like, uh, on our last LARP, we uh, welcomed new players. And one, uh, one said on the Facebook group, like, what? I saw it's a vegetarian uh, meal. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it can be. Uh, I will die. And then he received, like, I haven't even the time to make a comment that he received like uh, 30 uh, messages like you will see it's really good, uh, you have to try it, uh, I became vegetarian after it, I said alright, my, my job here is done. <coughs> so yeah, so this is a, like a quick example of what we do, there is a lot to, to do yet. I will not be much longer because we're all hungry and we all want to do the room parties we have uh, planned yet yeah, next. So I will just want to finish to say how um, grateful I am to be among all of you. And uh, thank you very much for this. Uh